I exist for one purpose, and one purpose only, to carry out the will of my mistress, whatever that may be. Claire, if you're not human, what are you exactly? Beings like me go by many names. You'd call me a servant or a proxy. In the old days, we were called familiars. We are products of contracts between a practitioner of magic and the forces of hell. We live and die according to the wills of our masters. So really have no will of your own, then, huh? Doesn't that bother you? Don't you never be anything more than a slave? <laughs> of course not. How can I long for something when I'm incapable of desire in the first place? Does a tool feel resentful for being used by its wielder? Of course it doesn't. It simply is what it is. I see. If what you're saying is true, then you're not just a tool, Claire. You're a weapon. Dolores created you for the sole purpose of killing others. You may not ultimately be to blame, but that doesn't make you any less dangerous. If you try to stop me... Oh, don't worry. I have no intentions of stopping you. I'm still under strict orders to let you live. However, I would like to take the time to correct a misconception on your part. I wasn't always meant to be a weapon, you see. Friend, what are you talking about? Well, before her pact with Moloch, Dolores was a completely different person, though I'm sure you knew that already. In the beginning, I wasn't intended to be a killer. I was intended to be a friend. My mistress always had the potential to become a great and powerful sorceress. She began dabbling in magic shortly after the death of her mother. She began with simple spells, requiring nothing more than a spoonful of her own blood, and it was one of these spells that gave birth to me. Claire, can I ask you something? Of course, mistress, anything at all. Do you... do you consider me your friend? Do you want me to consider your friend? Do you wish me to, mistress? There it is. If so, then yes, I consider you a very good friend. That's not what I'm talking about. Forget what I want. Do you personally think of me as a friend? Or are you just obligated to act like it since I created you? My apologies, mistress. I'm afraid the answer to that question isn't the one you're hoping for. Mm. That was all I needed to know. You can leave now. As you wish. All this power, she's still so lonely. The only thing my mistress expected from me, I could never provide. True friendship and affection is something even the most powerful of my kind cannot give. After that day, she stopped summoning me. Perhaps she preferred loneliness to the artificiality of my companionship. I was beginning to think that, having failed in my purpose, I would no longer be needed. Until... Oh, spirit of obedience, oh, fateful familiar... By the pact of blood formed with Ronove, Ronove, giver of servants, I call upon you once more. What is it you wish of me, mistress? Claire, it's been a while, hasn't it? Indeed, I sense that you've become quite powerful since we last met, unnaturally so, even. I'll explain everything later. For now, I need your help. I've been lied to, I've been stolen from, and now I want my revenge. Understood, mistress. I knew she had changed. The despair in my mistress's heart had fully transformed into a seething hatred. It was no wonder she had become so powerful, harboring such intense emotions. But it wasn't my place, nor my desire, to question her motives. All I was to do, all I'm ever to do, is obey her every command. Kyle, if there's one thing you must know about Dolores, know this. The curse was not a result of some innate evil in her heart. This bloodshed, it wasn't supposed to happen at all. Her true self is that of a dreamer, not a killer, but ultimately, circumstance guided her down a much darker path than she ever intended. You know that, and yet you still allowed her to kill. Yes, I did. It is as I, it is as I said, my only function is to obey, never question, and that's even assuming that I wanted to. I regret nothing about all of this. I finally fulfilled the task my mistress set for me, Really, that's all I ever cared about. Worry not, Kyle. This knife is meant for me. Now that Dolores has a master power, she will no longer require my services. When that happens, it is our duty to destroy ourselves. If anything, you ought to be happy. I did kill all the ones you tried to protect, after all. Yeah, but it's not really your fault. <laughs> I could never feel happy watching someone die. I've, I've seen too much death already. 
You have a good heart, Kyle. Perhaps if Dolores had someone like you in her life, things would have turned out differently. You may cover your eyes for this, I won't mind. Why do I have to be here? Can I just, like, can't you wait until I leave? She didn't even leave a corpse behind. Existing only to be used and thrown away, what a sad way to live. Something dark glimmers within it, is it the knife? Another key. Different from the others, no doubt, but lead straight to her. Yes, please. Key of judgment. Alright, but I need to go to the church first. Trail leads toward the gym, that's where she'll be waiting for me. That's where I'm going to end all of this. Looks like the seal is gone. That woman, I hope she can help me. She's the only lead I've got towards stopping Dolores. Yes, please. Hello. Dolores' mom, hi, Eleanor, right? Hello. I like your robe. So you came after all. You've taken a great risk putting your trust in a stranger's word. Especially in this place. For that, you have my gratitude. I didn't think I had much of a choice. I thought I was alone here, but you... You know something, don't you? I do, and what I know could mean the difference between life and death for you and perhaps countless others. Then tell me, please. It may be the only chance I have to stop all of this. Kyle Mason, I've been watching you from the very beginning. Though my presence was too weak for you to perceive, there isn't enough I could do to ease the suffering you've endured, to bring back the people you've lost. The only thing I can offer now is hope. My name is Eleanor, Eleanor Roth. Did you fake your death though, or is this another, like, sort of manifestation thing? Then that means you're- Yes, Dolores is my daughter. But wait, you were supposed to have died years ago! Indeed, but you have already seen with your own eyes what the power of the Demon King can do for those who offer themselves to him. No, wait, don't tell me. You made the same pact Dolores did? You know you can't just tell me something like that and expect me to still trust you. A demon helped your daughter kill people. People who were important to me. Well, uh, a few people, anyways. I s understand your weariness, but I swear to you that I mean you no harm. Our powers may come from the same source, the same ritual, but Moloch cares not what a human does with his power. Whether one wishes to slaughter innocents or save them, it doesn't matter to him so long as he receives his offering. Why did you leave your daughter alone? Then what did you do with it? Why would someone like you need to form a pact with Moloch? Perhaps I should start from the beginning. It was the day Dolores' father left us that I truly realized what kind of world she had been born into. Before we realized her condition, he had been a loving man, a dreamer even. But a special needs child was never a part of his dream. For that, I could never forgive him. And most of all, I never wanted Dolores to carry the burden of his selfishness. Dolores, sweetie, is something the matter? Studies have shown that families of a child with disabilities experience higher rates of stress than families with typical children. Mothers often report greater levels of depression, while fathers report distancing themselves from their families to cope. Did you know that, Mom? Dolores, where did you hear that? I read it in a book on mobility disorders. Mom, that's why Dad left us, isn't it? Because I turned out this way. Oh, honey. Dolores, I want you to listen to me. Your father leaving was not your fault. He was... He was a selfish, narrow-minded man who has no idea what he's missing. Mom... 